This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... Freaking.com My name is Tom Johnson. I'm a retired police chief and current professor of criminology and criminal justice at Western Carolina University. I'm also the leader of a team that will be assessing the Ware Police Department over the next several days. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Chief Dean? Good evening. I'm honored to be here tonight. I'm the Chief of Police with the University of New Hampshire and the Assistant Vice President of Student Academic Services, but I'm also here in the capacity as the President of the New Hampshire Campus Law Enforcement Administrators Association. I know firsthand uh, the success that accreditation has. The University of New Hampshire Police Department has been accredited for nine years, not only with the, with the Commission, but also with IACLEA, the International Association of Campus Law Enforcement Administrators. I know that when we undertook that process, that it was the best process that we could have ever have taken to professionalize the University of New Hampshire Police Department, and we have done nothing but grow. I have known Chief Kelly for my entire career, and Chief Kelly uh, coming here uh, is a fantastic thing for the town of Ware. I know his professionalism. I know his work ethic. I've worked alongside of him. I've watched him grow, and I've grown with him. I can't think of a better person to lead the Ware Police Department. I think when you take a look at their files and what they're doing now, I think you will find them to be excellent, in compliance, and a well-run agency. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Dean. retired Manchester, New Hampshire police officer. I retired in 2006. We're about 18 miles. Seems like 400 driving up here uh, from where. <clears throat> I'm the current accreditation manager for Manchester. Uh, we just received our eighth reaccreditation award in Reno. So I know what it's like to be on uh, Chief Kelly's side and John McGregor's side. And I'm also the chair of the Northern New England Police Accreditation Coalition, otherwise known as NEPAC. Uh, myself and several other Folks from NEPAC were here in January, on January 22nd, to do the mock. And we found the files, I think, to be uh, in good shape. Um, and I will say that working in Manchester for 22 years and uh, being in the area for most of my life, the biggest impediment to wear was the reputation. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I came here. After the mock, after looking and speaking uh, with people in the back room here, the, the officers that we met that day, that's what stuck out to me. As, as a retired law enforcement officer, somebody's been in accreditation, their, uh, their pride was just exuding. It, they showed us around the building, they showed us some of the stuff that they did, the painting and, and renovating the building to meet standards. And uh, I felt compelled to be here tonight to share that with you. You'll see the files, we saw the files. <coughs> but uh, Sean, Chief Kelly was the chair of NEPAC when I started. So it's a tribute to him that I'm here tonight to speak to you on behalf of NEPAC. So they are a great NEPAC agency. I wish them the best. I am in full support of their efforts to gain national accreditation. Thank you. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there 
and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com. Thank <laughs> you.